Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi, guys. <laughs> We're starting up. We're going to be grilling today, and it's going to be freaking delicious. But the cool thing is. We're gonna be grilling in the new setup. So everything that was here is gone now. It, it looks horrible now, right? Horrible. Horrible. Absolutely atrocious. That was what English people would say. But the good thing is we got the new setup out here. And, and that's freaking awesome. Look, Ava's already installed. She's installed. Are you ready? Look. Oh, that's a nice setup. This is some epic grilling space. Look at it. Camping grilling space. Epic. Epic. Amping. Amping. It's a little bit early still. But we got good news because we got a beautiful tomahawk. Look at that. A beautiful skirt steak. And we got hungry guy. The hungry guys here as well. Already waiting for yeah, this. The hungry guys already here. The hungry, hungry guys, stand by. Guy. Stand by on set. <laughs> <laughs> Morrison's figuring out how to work the new setup. So, while he's doing that, I am having some fun with my little smoker. I haven't fired this thing up for a long, long time. So, anybody questioned if I have an offset smoker? Yes, I do. The problem is, it's kind of tiny. <laughs> it's a European, European version of a pick of an offset smoker. A little bit of baguettes in there. Fire it up. And then I'm gonna add some wood chips. And uh, these are really tiny wood chips, but it works better in my opinion to have tiny wood chips than the larger ones because they take a long time to create smoke actually. And so you see instantly smoke is coming. I'm gonna close the lid and the draft will do its job. Close this lid too. There we go. See if we can get that in camera. There we go. Now we got smoke. Yeah, baby. Our smoker is on, working, functioning. It even has these doors. You can see them. Control the airflow, opening it up. Look at that thing, smoking away. A fire there, and then we get the smoke section. I actually have the grill grates in the dishwasher at the moment, they're stainless steel. And then right here, there's another smoke area. I also have the grill grates in the dishwasher. Look at that, isn't that kind of cool? Like the tiny version of a smoker, maybe even cooler than a big version. Mitchell, what do I taste? I made a sauce. Does it go well with a croissant? It goes really well with a with croissant, okay. I think. So I'm gonna try it. No, 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 no. Yeah? Dude, no. Yeah. You said it goes well. Yeah, but the first test has to be like a real test. Okay. Otherwise, it has a barbecue sauce. Cheers. Ooh. What do Ooh, you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you re already reveal what the secret ingredient is? Am I allowed to say it? Yeah. Did, did it? Did you? Yeah. In the vlog? No. No? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm editing it anyway, so it's sambal. You're probably hearing a bleep now. <laughs> but but, uh, how, but what do you taste? I taste the sambal. I taste tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. I taste... Uh, it has a sweetness. Apple cider vinegar, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? Honey? No. Mm. Apple cider vinegar also, no. All right, now close your eyes. And now, um, yeah, close uh, your eyes. I'm gonna taste it with it. Now I'm gonna let you taste something else, mm. which I think is horrible. Mm, this works. Ooh. 
Ooh. Is he just right eating croissants? <laughs> like if French yeah, people see this, no, they're like, they're yeah. really confused. No, but this is just this works so well. But I'm actually th amazed. that's how that's how you confuse people. Putting sambal on uh, sandwiches, mm -hmm. on a croissant. Oh, croissant. Yeah, I could eat it as well. Yeah, but now something else you said. Yeah. Now something else. Yeah, but you gotta close your eyes. Okay, hold up your hand. And you gotta lick your hand. And I'm also already going to tell you, you're not going to be happy about it. <laughs> Is it spicy? No, no, no. Here we go. Wait, wait. Hold on. Turn around. Think about the light. Video videographer. Yes. Yeah. You can look at it. Okay. okay. Ooh. No, no, no. No, just stick it in your mouth. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Huh? <laughs> Why? What's what's good about it? it uh, it's a bit it's tangy, but it's um, yeah, it's not bad. It's a mean. Uh, my body told me like, oh, dude, don't eat it. It's horrible. Why? It's, it's sriracha. You don't like sriracha. No, but it's like an ultimate MSG bomb. Huh. Compared to sambal. Mm, yeah. Maybe he likes MSG. Yeah. Like a water would would approve it. Roel just uh, wanted to test the new uh, cooking he, device. He performed a natural selection test. Natural selection. <laughs> he wanted to check if uh, what part is actually the hottest part. Was that a wise idea? Um, I, I know where, where, where it's hot. No. The, <laughs> but you need to explain to him first that this is a different cooking plate than what you normally get. Yeah, but the thing is, it says something here. Yeah, the, the, yeah, 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 it says Let me check. Achtung restwarmte, warning res, re, re, residue heat. Res yeah, and where did you put your finger? I was going like this, so weep, and then I went over that line. And then... You crossed the line. Uh, owie. <laughs> you crossed the line. But, but, in my defense, but in my defense, now we have this device. This is like our, our current device, the handy. And uh, this is uh, an induction cooking plate, which is really nice and really handy, but it also always goes on, off, on, off, on, off. And when you go to really low heat, then it goes on, off, on, off. And that, that's so annoying because then you get bubbles and you don't get bubbles. And, and here we have something that I can just like tune down the heat a little. And it just, because it's ceramic, it just keeps on boiling like a steady boil. It's not like, I burn everything and then I don't do anything for a long time and then I burn everything. Now, I just have like a smooth simmer. So no more burning sauces. No, but, but also, don't touch it. Do not touch the ceramic plate. Don't do it, and what did I tell? I told you guys this morning. Don't do it, man. <laughs> That's the funny part. And he did. Uh, yeah, and then I and I showed you exactly what not to do. This is why women live longer than men. Yes, because we always have to <laughs> test if it's actually true. If the thing it says like don't touch it here, then we always want to try like can I really not? But touch how it? hot does it really get? You're gonna do it a, a feeling test again. But if I put it on hundred a hundred power instead of a thousand, will I still burn my finger? Do you it. still live? Try it. I will not try it. <laughs> I think you should. No. I'm not going to. But it's, look at the smooth simmer. Look at how cool that is. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, this one goes gradually. Yeah. Problem solved. Okay, many, many awful suggestions are coming by and I was just testing this kimchi out. This is canned kimchi. I can't turn it upside down, but it's, it's from Korea. It's made in Korea. So it's actual kimchi. Have you had this before? I, I never had this before. It smells uh, it's distinctive. Not very, very garlicky. And I, I, I'm wondering how much garlic is in one bite? It's like, I'm thinking tomato soup. With extreme amount of garlic, combined with hot sauce. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, and a little bit of onion in there. Okay, now you try, Morrison, and you tell me what you think, because... Get yourself a fork. You had this before, right? No, I haven't. You haven't had kimchi? I have never had this. I had a kimchi soup. Kimchi soup. It's already basically soup. So what's a bite? So something like that? I don't know, I just took one of those. So is it like cabbage or what is it? Exactly what you said. Tomato hot, soup? Tomato so soup, hot sauce. Yeah, with, with a, a lot of garlic. Yeah, a tiny drop of Tabasco in maybe. Not bad, right? No, perfect. no. How much of it could you eat? Uh, well, my, my instinct says eat more. So it's good. That now you, Mitch. Good. It sounds very interesting. Your, your turn. It sounds like something I would love. Canned kimchi. It's very garlicky. Yeah, no, I, I can't describe it better than you guys did. Tomato sauce, garlic, hot sauce. It's perfect. What what do they eat it with in Korea? Is it like a, is it something healthy? Could we yeah? Could we eat this? Because if we put this on a burger, it could be oh yeah, it yeah, could be a good thing. You know what they, I believe they do. Um, they put uh, white fish. I don't know. Like no, 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 no. We have to edit uh, this out. Yeah, yeah. We're not doing this. This is not in the video. Okay. But you could do a restaurant with uh, something. Something. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, this stuff is good. The, the yeah. You can't say it. No. It's a video idea. All right. Oh, man. All right. Are we giving away too much now? No. No, we you just bleep it out. All, all of it. All of it. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. We're nearing the end of the first time cooking in the new setup, and I absolutely love it. Of course, I already had this inside, but having it outside is even better. It's better. It's better. The stupid thing is, I already walked that like this drawer here where I keep all the cutlery. Right. Cutlery. I know that English word, brother. <laughs> Where we keep all the cutlery, and normally that's inside. I already walked into the barn two times during, through the rain to get cutlery, which was right here. And Morrison did exactly the same thing. So it's a bit getting used to, but it's like freaking awesome because I have everything I need right here. I got the grill. What's well, it's, it's a functional chick uh, chicken. chicken. It's a functional kitchen. I love functional chickens. It's the, the, the best thing in the world. <laughs> You do have functional chickens. I do have functional chickens. They lay eggs, we eat them, they're awesome. But look at, maybe maybe you want a sneak peek of the steak. Reverse sear tomahawk steak with a beautiful crust on the outside. Look at that. Isn't that delicious? It smells so good. It smells so good. And all I need to do is sear it off. So I got the Napoleon now with four burners on. And this thing is getting up to temperature. We're now at 200 degrees at the lid. So we're just waiting until it hits around 300 degrees Celsius. Then we're going to put a sear on it and then we're going to eat. Well, guys, approved. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely a good steak. Mm -hmm. A little bit of waste right there from the tomahawk. So we got an opinion about tomahawks, right? Yeah. Give it to me. Uh, I think it's. A, I, I like it, but as you can see, the amount of meat that you can actually get a, get out of it compared to the waste, it's a bit overrated. Maybe. It's a waste. Yeah. It kind of the problem is you pay per kilo for tomahawk, and I don't mind paying for the ribeye, but the problem is you pay for the bone as well. That doesn't make any sense because there's a lot of fat and a lot of bone that go that goes with the tomahawk. Wow. If you order the ribeye, you just get the meat version of it. So, kind of doesn't make sense. No. no. Agreed. And on that note, I'm calling on all butchers before we shut this video off. 
Please lower the prices on Tomahawks.